In this example, we're asked to investigate the convergence of an alternating series. And this one is a very quick fail. So if you recall the alternating series test, if you can show that the next term is less than or equal to the previous term and that the large n limit of the terms goes to zero, then you've got a convergent alternating series. And it, just at a glance, I can tell that the large n limit of these terms is not going to zero. So let's just try to illustrate this. The limit as n goes, goes to infinity of n over n plus 2. All right, the casual way to look at this is that the highest power of n dominates the numerator and denominator. So approximately, this is just n over n, which is 1. If I want to be more formal about it, I would divide the top and bottom by the highest power of n appearing in the rational expression. And that gives me a 1 over 1 plus 2 over n. And then I say that the 2 over n unambiguously goes to 0 in the large n limit. And my limit is 1 here. So my limit as n goes to infinity of an did not go to 0. So this is a divergent alternating series.